All right, so just one step before we actually launch our campaign, we're going to need a group of interests in order to target people. So we know that we're targeting women who are the mothers of police officers. So we, we know the basic demographics, which is female, and we want to do like probably 50 plus because that will put them with a kid that's probably in the force already a little bit. Um, if you went like 40 plus, then odds are their kids are only like 12 to 14 years old which is not near old enough. Um, so we want to go with, uh, you have to do some basic math and take some averages and try and figure out how old, like at minimum, is a police mom. And then we need to find interests in order to target. And I'm going to show you how to, how to do that. So we, we're in our, our ads manager. We just go to tools. Oh, sorry. We need audience insights. which seems to have disappeared on me. Okay, it's usually right here under Tools and then Audience Insights, but we'll have to do it the manual way. So let's go here. I'm just showing the URL. So it's facebook.com slash ads slash audience underscore insights. That'll take you to this page. Okay, but typically it's right in here under tools and then audiences. It would say audience insights, but for some reason, I don't know what's up with Facebook today, but it's not showing. So anyway, so we want to select everybody on Facebook. We want to go with us and then we want to select our age, which in our case, we want moms. So we're going to go 50 plus women in the U S. Okay. Now down here under interests is what we want to start looking at, but I want to show you a little quick little primer on uh, finding a good target group of interest that we can group together. So if we were doing um, a t-shirt or something like that, that wasn't a mother thing, but more of a generic thing, like say pitfalls or something like that, we could go with brands, magazines, associations, TV shows, employers, job titles, that sort of thing. And then we'll just try and plug those in here under interest to try and find a group of interests that we can then clump together in order to target. So under brands, I don't know that there's many brands for police. Uh, there probably are like clothing brands and guns and all that sort of thing that we could try and explore. We can also use Google to try and find these, but magazines, uh, to find that you just would go like police magazine. Let's see if anything comes up. There's a couple canine American. So there are a couple in here. Um, see what this is police canine magazine really small though let start typing it in and it'll start coming up American police beat now you can see up here the audience size so these magazines is not really big with police officers um, however we can go to associations too so if we type police and then association we get a lot so here we go. Uh, we can start pulling these out. And what we're looking for basically is women who like this stuff on Facebook, because if they like a police magazine or a police association, then odds are, um, they have, they are, they are either a, a police officer themselves or they have one in their family. Okay. So we want to find those and we can click on page likes and Usually it'll pull up more, but something's up with Facebook today. Oh, the audience size is so small. So we're going to go with associations. You're going to go through and try and find as many as you can. And then we're going to look at TV shows. It doesn't really apply as much here when we're doing a job title one. Um, but if you were doing like the Pitbull one, you could target like uh, Caesar Milan, the Dog Whisperer, or any like dog training TV show or that sort of thing. Um, you can look at employers too. So for us, one of the big ones is police departments and you can see there's a ton in here and we would want to be adding all these police departments because that's, if a woman is 50 plus and she likes like Chicago police department, um, or New York city police department, then odds are she, uh, has somebody who's in the police department. Police auxiliary. You just keep typing it, police department. 
right? And it just keeps populating it. And for us, I mean, for this particular one, the police departments are the ones that are going to probably do the best. Dallas. And I just keep going until basically I run out. Sacramento. Oh, looks like I ran out. There's probably more in there, though. And then the other thing I can do is job titles. <coughs> so if I, I can go with basic stuff like police officer, detective, like profession. Um, what's it? Police chief. Chief of police right here. So I can start plugging those in. You can see how big my audience is getting. Once I get over a million for this, I'm in pretty good shape. Because uh, we're going to be using, we want to have a large audience, really, ideally, and we do with this. So now we can come down here and we can try and pick out others if we want. Um, but it's a face, like the audience insights is just not cooperating today. And you will have days where it's just not working right because it's not pulling the correct things. But this is a really good start for our audience because we're over a million now. I like to go really broad with my audiences and let Facebook kind of pick out the ones that I want. So uh, what I would do um, is I would probably be looking at pulling these out and plugging them into a list that's kind of comma separated. So you can do that. Uh, well, you could even save it here if you wanted. And then you can pull it in through your, uh, when you create your ads in Power Editor. That's one way. Um, or you can export it, whatever you want to do. I, I just like to kind of keep it simple. I'll just kind of copy it. And then I'll paste it into like my text editor. But I need to have it comma separated in order to add it to my ads. So what I'll do is just hit replace and replace, uh, in this case, a new line with a comma and a space. Oops. Oh. So I'm using Edit Plus for this. You can see it took it from that list into this sort of thing, which works a lot better. So that, that's a good basis for me in order, and I might go back in and find a little bit more too, but I think I had about 12 or 16 or something like that. But the key is the audience size was big enough to make it worth my while. So a lot of people wonder how big an audience should I go with? There is no correct answer for this. I've had some campaigns that have had 5,000 people in the audience, like that's potential people, potential buyers. And it's sold really well. And then I've had others where I've gone up to like 38 million. And I've used no interest ads and it's worked awesome. So there is no right answer. The only answer is test. In this case, I, I know that um, there's a ton of police officers. So I know the audience size is going to be pretty large. And I'm comfortable with that. Okay, so go ahead and make your list for your particular necklace. Just try and play with the audience insights and come up with a list. And then we need to get it into, you can either, you can save it here too if you want. Just name it, whatever you want. I, I like to name it Audience Insights Police. So I could save it and then I don't have to worry about it later. But um, I typically do this route where I'll just plug it into Edit Plus and then I'll change it to like a comma separated one. It's a little bit easier for me. Okay, so you need to make your list of interest. You need to get a decent sized audience if you can. If it is fairly small and you're in a tight niche, that's okay. Still get a group together. And the reason we get a group and not just breaking them out individually is if I only targeted, say, Boston Police Department, and then um, there's 20 other advertisers out there that are only targeting Boston Police Department, well, that now increases the, it's an auction. So if you have 20 people bidding on one interest, the price is going to be higher, meaning your costs are higher. If you have like, uh, I think I have 16 in here or 22, I can't remember the number. But now 
I'm, I'm not just targeting Boston Police Department. I've got a whole bunch of other options in here. So Facebook is not putting me in direct competition with those hypothetical other 20 advertisers out there. So my costs are going to be lower because I'm only, I'm only going to be taking a section of, of each one instead of being laser targeted on, on each one. So it's just like the ad set theory where if I don't want to be in direct competition with people because it means my costs are higher. So I, I want to have a group of interests, multiple interests that I can put into one ad. And that way Facebook will look at that and say, okay, we've got a couple options here. We know he's got a couple interests in here that a lot of people are bidding on, but he's also got a couple that, you know, maybe not as many people are bidding on. So his, so we'll set the uh, CPM or his, what we're going to charge him. We're going to set that a little bit lower. Okay, you'll see what I mean once we get into creating the ad uh, and the campaign and the ad sets. But right now, go ahead and make your list because you're going to need it for the next couple steps.